and I working on a new project today. I'm gonna be putting dual jacks on the front of this trailer. So I got my new jack here. 10,000 pound lift, 12,000 pound hold. Bulldog. And I'm cutting this one off. We're gonna mount them up here with a plate. Put them on a, weld them to a plate and bolt them to the frame here. Then this lid's gonna be rebuilt. Holding water. Alright, so that's that. I got the jack off. Uh, Randy, what's wrong with you? A lot of room up here now on this tongue. I think I'm gonna put a piece of mesh in here, make a little basket, and put some other stuff in there. That, you know, maybe a tarp actually. That might be good in there. Tarp for covering up trees, wooden blocks, a cone. We got that fold down cone, shrinks up. That would leave me a lot more room in here for uh, our supplies. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this lid yet. If I'm going to take it off, I'm going to take it off of one and I got to replace it. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to build a new one and make it wider or not. I'm undecided on that yet. I'm trying to outweigh the pros and cons here. But, yep, now I got to get some plate and make some brackets or some plate up and get them welded to that. And then those are going to bolt up. One thing I got to do is make sure these jacks are the same size too. That would be an epic fail. But, yeah, we're uh, making some progress now. This is nice. I got to clean this up, get some fresh paint on that, weld it up a little bit, clean it up. Looking good. All right, here's what we got. There's my first plate there. Jack's going to go on that. Bolt, 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 bolt. Second plate right here. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to line the jack up to make sure the handle should the handle clears all this so that one over there I'm gonna lay it right on the center that one on this side I got to do a little different all right so here's what we got now <clears throat> I got the plate up where I want it this is using it as a reference and getting some marks on it this is the center line of the plate there's the jack right there that's where that's gonna go and then wherever that's gonna be a bolt there that's gonna be a bolt there the challenge is, is that this behind it isn't just one solid piece. It, there's a five inch channel and then just sheet steel. So when I put my, I can't put my bolt hole right on, like right there would be a good spot, but I can't do it because there's a piece of channel where the two things come together. I can't go through that. So I have to go either above it or below it. So what I think what I'm gonna do over here is just use one bolt, center it right there on that one bolt right there, bolt right there, and I think that should be enough. I don't, I don't think that being a problem. My other one has four. I would have liked four, but with the situation we have here, we're going to make this work, so that's a hole, that's a hole, and that one's a hole. So that's what we got. I'm going to drill these out and then put it back up, mark them on the trailer, and I got to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, afternoon now. We got the jacks up in place. They're just resting on my uh, floor jack to my trailer jack. Um, so yeah, we got that going. We're looking good. And plates are mounted. We're going to be welding the jacks to the plates. That's my next move here. 
both of them and then I'm gonna unbolt I'll unbolt this one and slide the pipe over that one and slide it over that one and rebolt so that's that I got to get them squared up they're all grinded up ready to go we're gonna weld them up okay so those are all welded up bolted on there technically you could jack this thing down if you wanted one thing I did over here was this rod this is a jack off the trailer uh, this is bent so I switched it so we have a nice straight shaft coming out there but then that reversed because I had to move the gear in here gear in this uh, spacer I flipped those around and it ended up changing the rotation so I had to go over the other jack change the rotation of that one if you're curious on how to flip it if you want inside here there's a, this is a drift pin on the gear drive it out like halfway spin it over oh look at that it's still sticking out I gotta finish it um, pound it out a little bit less than halfway spin it over pull it out a pair of pliers pull the rod out and both these gear and the spacer come right out so pretty easy now I'm gonna be measuring up for the pipe cut the pipe you got to get the holes drilled for the pipe and I'm gonna unbolt the jack paint everything on the back side put it back together and then technically the jacks be operational besides paint and onto the toolbox all right, got the jacks on. I think we saw that. I don't know if we took cover this or not, but pipes in, bolted down. They're tied together. I moved the handle. Oh, this handle stays, but the, the handle clip thing here. Got that remounted. That was all down there. We got this all cleaned up. That was all got some cuts in it. Look at how much room there is up here now, huh? Dump truck should clear that pretty nice. Well, that'll be good. Next project is... Uh, Taking this lid off, putting new hinges on it, putting it back on with the new hinges and the shocks. One thing that's a problem now, to, I'll show you, is I think, man, we've got this place a mess. It hits the pipe, so I got some gas shocks off Amazon. I don't know what what size they are, but I can make it work, I think. I'm gonna put these in here. Something like that. Put those on, but they got the brackets in there. I'll bolt it in there. Then I can move it if I don't like it. So we got that to do, and uh, this hinge I'm gonna take off. It's totally broken down there. So we're getting rid of the piano hinge. I'm gonna put a, uh, a regular hinge on there, just a metal one, a couple of them. And then I got latches for this to keep this closed, even though I don't think it'll open, but, and then new weather stripping all the way around this thing, nice and tight. We're gonna make it nice and tight so it doesn't leak. Latches on the top that'll go down to here to loop handles and then a wire mesh basket in here to put blocks and stuff in so that's next week or tomorrow maybe but that's it for today i got the jacks all done and we'll be back at it next time all right little uh <clears throat> 10 o'clock update for you i don't know where i left off the other day but i had ended up i kept saying oh, i'm gonna be done after a few minutes i'm you know i'm gonna do this and be done and it turned into like an extra two hours that I was working on this. So I ended up ripping this lid off. Here's the hinge. What's left of it? It's a piano style. They're junk. They've always been junk. They're never, they're garbage all around. Anyway, ripped that off. I put these uh, three and a half inch hinges on here. So I've been working on laying that out. This opens up real nice. Now the pro actually, that stays, which is good for now, um, but I'm worried that once these springs kind of wear in, or the, the springs, once the hinges wear in, the door's gonna be falling. So I got those gas shocks. Uh, one thing about these hinges, when you're setting them up and laying them out, and I learned this the hard way, was you have five parts of the knuckle here, two attached to one side, three attached to the other. Make sure you put all sides on the same. So. In this case, on the lid, I put the side with two prongs on all of them. 
So these two center ones, it's sort of warm. Um, but all these are on the door, so they all swing together nice and easy. And then the three ones are welded to the trailer itself in the box. Uh, that helps with just making sure it stays uh, a consistent swing because I've had them bind up and it's been a real problem. So, yeah, we got that all done. I uh, This door was warped real bad or it just had like a little spring to it. So I, uh, I got it back and it's actually crowned a little bit now, which is good. And I welded this piece of angle iron in here just as a support to keep the thing straight. Um, so it won't be uh, holding water anymore with the lid closed. So actually now it's got a little bit of a crown where water should shut off this, hopefully. And then I got some weather stripping I'm gonna put on the lid because it's a smooth surface. So when the door comes down, it'll actually sit on the weather stripping and uh, should keep it a little bit more watertight. Uh, one thing I gotta figure out is with those shocks, well, we're gonna find out, I guess, is if the shocks, after I put those on, is the lid just gonna wanna, you hit a bump, is the lid gonna pop open? Um, if that's the case, I have to figure out some sort of lock mechanism. I got these latches here, which I was thinking about using but I have to fab something up on the face of this in order to use it. So I'm gonna do the shocks first and then see how that goes. And then with the sh then if the shocks work good and I can keep the toolbox up, I'll weld a little, maybe a piece of angle or something on here to have something to put the bracket on and then secure it down to that. So, yep, getting ready to put the shocks on next. Okay, a little lunchtime update. Uh, <clears throat> working on these shocks. It's been quite the hassle trying to get these things positioned just right. But I got one on. And it seems to do the whole job itself. And I don't think I'm going to put another one on here. Because it works. After uh, quite a bit of going back and forth. These holes were already in here from something else. So I tried to use that. It, it would jam up and stop too early. So I uh, had to drill a new hole, and that wasn't the right one. So I ended up just moving the bracket down, <clears throat> and uh, using I was using the bottom part of the bracket with the hole. Then I switched it to the top of the bracket was at the hole, and it closed. And it seems to be staying. I think it would actually. It seems like it would take a little bit of force to pick that up. So. I don't think we're putting a lock on it, which will be good because I didn't really want to and have to deal with something else in my way. So I think we're going to roll with one shock. I mean, that seems to work pretty good. And really the main point is to make sure this doesn't fall down. Although the wobbliness of it makes me wonder if I should. But I think at this point we're not going to. So I'm going to fill these bolt holes in so water doesn't get in there, seal that up real nice. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some cleaning. Get... All right, wrapping this video up now on this trailer. We're all done. Out, it's been actually into use a couple times. We've used this trailer. Uh, no complaints so far. Everything looks good. Found it up real nice, it's very functional. We got just enough room. I might do a spare tire mount in here coming up with the, the rim overhead or use one of these steak pockets or something to make it removable but there's so much tongue space on this trailer now you know it's similar to this but there's nothing that the the hitch plate is way out front instead of uh, you know, having a jack up the center which is nice so we should be able to put this on any trailer now or any truck and not have problems with turning and uh, better clearance and more storage up in here which is what we got we can even put a tarp in here these are up on a gas shock. These came out really nice. Obviously, I didn't paint the whole thing. It's already painted, but got the dry deck material in there. The gas shock holds stuff up. Gas shock also holds the lid down, so you know it would take a, a severe amount of bouncing compared to this one, which has a latch. So either way, I'm satisfied with it. I think if I would have changed anything on it, I would lower that jack down a little farther. It's almost too high. 
Uh, the jack legs have to go all the way out, but that's not a big deal. Just don't retract them all the way up, I guess. Would be my solution. If you if you pull the jack or unhook the jack and raise it off the ground enough, then pull the pin, it should retract and you'll still have plenty of clearance. It ain't a big deal, it'll work. Maybe just a little bit of a learning curve. But now we got dual jacks and both trailers. Looking good. And again, if you liked the video, remember to subscribe, like it, dislike it, comment down below. That lets me know that you like the content that I'm putting out and encourage me to continue to put out this content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Looking really good now on this rebuilt uh, flatbed trailer, redesigned, front end.